The coelom refers to the main body cavity in most multicellular animals and is positioned inside the body to surround and contain the digestive tract and other organs. In developed animals, it is lined with the mesodermal epithelium. In other animals, such as mollusks, it remains undifferentiated. Structure Development coelom formation begins in the gastrula stage. The developing digestive tube of an embryo forms as a blind pouch called the archeterone. In protostomes the coelom forms by a process known as schizocoli. The archetrone initially forms, and the mesoderm splits into two layers. The first attaches to the body wall or ectoderm, forming the parietal layer and the second surrounds the endoderm or alimentary canal forming the visceral layer. The space between the parietal layer and the visceral layer is known as the coelom or body cavity. In deuterostomes, the coelom forms by enterocoli. Mesoderm buds from the walls of the archetrone and hollows to become the coelomic cavities. Origins The evolutionary origin of the coelom is uncertain. The oldest known animal to have had a body cavity was the Vern animalcula. Current hypotheses include the acoelomate theory, which states that coelom evolved from an acoelomate ancestor. The enterocoel theory, which states that coelom evolved from gastric pouches of Snederian ancestors. This is supported by research on flatworms and small worms recently discovered in marine fauna. Function. A coelom can absorb shock or provide a hydrostatic skeleton. It can also support an immune system in the form of coelomocytes that may either be attached to the wall of the coelom or may float about in it, freely. The coelom allows muscles to grow independently of the body wall. This feature can be seen in the digestive tract of tardigrades which is suspended within the body in the mesentery derived from a mesoderm-lined coelom. Coelomic fluid. The fluid inside the coelom is known as coelomic fluid. This is circulated by mesothelial cilia or by contraction of muscles in the body wall which are themselves of meson. The coelomic fluid serves several functions, it acts as a hydroskeleton, it allows free movement and growth of internal organs. It serves for transport of gases, nutrients and waste products between different parts of the body. It allows storage of sperm and eggs during maturation and it acts as a reservoir for waste. Classification in zoology In the past, some zoologists grouped bilateral and animal phyla based on characteristics related to the coelom for practical purposes, not intending that each of those groups were natural, that is, that their phyla were phylogenetically related. This scheme was followed by a number of college textbooks and some general classifications but is now almost totally abandoned as a formal classification. However, some authors of recent molecular phylogeny studies misleadingly called this classification scheme as the traditional morphology-based phylogeny. Thereby, animals can be classified in three informal groups according to the type of body cavity they possess, in a non-taxonomic, utilitarian way. Coelomate animals or coelomata have a fluid-filled body cavity called a coelom, coelom with a complete lining called peritoneum derived from mesoderm. The complete mesoderm lining allows organs to be attached to each other so that they can be suspended in a particular order while still being able to move freely within the cavity. Most bilateral animals, including all the vertebrates, are coelomates. Pseudocoelomate animals have a pseudocoelom, which is a fully functional body cavity. Tissue derived from mesoderm only partly lines the fluid-filled body cavity of these animals. Thus, although organs are held in place loosely, they are not as well organized as in a coelomate. All pseudocoelomates are protostomes, however, not all protostomes are pseudocoelomates. An example of a pseudocoelomate is the roundworm. Pseudocoelomate animals are also referred to as hemocoel and blastocoelomate. Acoelomate animals, like flatworms, have no body cavity at all. Semi-solid mesodermal tissues between the gut and body wall hold their organs in place. 
Coelomates coelums developed in triploblasts but were subsequently lost in several lineages. The lack of a coelom is correlated with a reduction in body size. Coelom is sometimes incorrectly used to refer to any developed digestive tract. Some organisms may not possess a coelom or may have a false coelom. Animals having coelums are called coelomates, and those without are called acoelomates. There are also subtypes of coelom. Schizocoelom develops from split in mesoderm found in annelids, arthropods and mollusks. Hemocoelom True coelum reduced and cavity filled with blood found from arthropoda and mollusca. Enterocoelum develops from wall of embryonic gut found from Echinodermatita chordata. Coelomate phyla According to Brusca and Brusca, the following bilaterian phyla possess a coelom. Nemati, traditionally viewed as acoelomates. Priapula, Anlida, Sipuncula, Echaura, Onicophora, Tardigridae. Arthropoda, Mollusca, Foranida, Ectoprocta, Brachiopoda, Echinodermata, Chaetognatha, Hemichordata, Chordata. For others, the coelomate phyla comprise Enterprocta, Ectoprocta, Foranida, Brachiopoda, Mollusca, Priapulidae, Sipuncula, Echaura, Anlida. Tardigridae, Pentastoma, Onicophora, Arthropoda, Pogonophora, Echinodermata, Chaetognatha, Hemichordata, and Chordata. Pseudocoelomates in some protostomes, the embryonic blastocele persists as a body cavity. These protostomes have a fluid filled main body cavity and lined or partially lined with tissue derived from mesoderm. This fluid-filled space surrounding the internal organs serves several functions like distribution of nutrients and removal of waste or supporting the body as a hydrostatic skeleton. A pseudocoelomate or blastocoelomate is any invertebrate animal with a three-layered body and a pseudocoel. The coelom was apparently lost or reduced as a result of mutations in certain types of genes that affected early development. Thus, pseudocoelomates evolve from coelomates. Pseudocoelomate is no longer considered a valid taxonomic group, since it is not monophyletic. However, it is still used as a descriptive term. Important characteristics Lack of vascular blood system diffusion and osmosis circulate nutrients and waste products throughout the body. Lack of skeleton hydrostatic pressure gives the body a supportive framework that acts as a skeleton. No segmentation. Body wall epidermis and muscle often sinkshall usually covered by a secreted cuticle. Most are microscopic. Parasites of almost every form of life, usually in some, loss of larval stage in some, possibly pedomorphism, pseudocoelomate phyla according to Brusca and Brusca, bilaterian pseudocoelomate phyla include, rotiferae, kin or hyncha, nematoda, nematomorpha, acanthocephala, lorociferae. Some authors list the following phyla as pseudocoelomates. Nematoda, Rotiferae, Kin or Hyncha, Nematomorpha, Gastrotricha, Lorociferae, Priapulidae, Acanthocephala, Ashelmanthus, Enterprocta, Acoelomates Acoelomates lack a fluid-filled body cavity between the body wall and digestive tract. This can present some serious disadvantages. Fluid compression is negligible, while the tissue surrounding the organs of these animals will compress. Therefore, acoelomate organs are not protected from crushing forces applied to the animal's outer surface. The coelom can be used for diffusion of gases and metabolites etc. These creatures do not have this need, as the surface area to volume ratio is large enough to allow absorption of nutrients and gas exchange by diffusion alone. Due to dorsoventral flattening, acoelomate phyla according to Brusca and Brusca, bilaterian phyla without a coelom include, platyhelminthus, gastrotricha, traditionally viewed as blastocoelomates, enterprocta, traditionally viewed as blastocoelomates, nathostomulidae, traditionally viewed as blastocoelomates, 
Cycliophora. According to others, Acoalomates include the Stegarians, and the Cetenophores, Platyhelminthis, Nematea, and Gastrotricha.